In this video I'm going to show you all my tips to improve at freestyling. Whatever skill level you are, any of these tips will help you out. I'm not the best freestyler but I used to be decent and all these tips helps me massively to improve and they might help you. So definitely check for the whole video and check all of the tips and try them yourself. You can be PC or console or anything for any of these. So don't just leave if you're console because it can be every platform at all. I'll get straight into the video now but if you could hit the like button and try and hit 40 likes that would be greatly appreciated and let's get on to the video now. So number 10, start off and improve your air and ball control and mechanics before you try anything else. These are so important to make sure you've got perfectly down. And you can get this by workshop maps, you can get it by just, I've got tutorials on my channel. Just look up on my channel about air and car control, mechanic improving, I've got a video for console and for PC. These are so important to improve before actually going on to any freestyle. And you might think, oh my mechanics are decent for this, but they need to be very good. And if you can't dribble the ball forever or how long, you want in free play that's not good enough and if you can't do spinning aerials in like workshop maps through the rings really well it's not good enough so you have to improve them even people who are like in the top clans still do this non-stop in workshops to improve it because it's super important it'll make each shot a hundred times easier to learn if you've got better general mechanics number nine this is a really useful one, what not many people say, and it's to learn as many different shots as you can. So every single shot variety, every single shot, just try and learn it. Have a lot of variety. Don't, own, don't only learn air dribbles or don't only learn flip resets. Learn everything. This can be better for every mechanic. It can improve every shot a lot. This helped me out a lot when I was trying to improve at freestyling and just in general it's not much else to say but just learn every shot possible number eight free play slash costume training is the only way to improve this is a lot of people think like oh, i can learn in casual i can not do too much training but to be honest every single good freestyler just does free player training non-stop if you've got one in your friend list or something, you just always see them in training. This is because that's the only way to improve, really. Because if you don't do this, then you just won't have anything. Because imagine the amount of attempts you get in training and free play, working on different things and everything. So just doing free play and custom training non-stop every day will improve you so, so much. I can't stress how much this is important to just grind those. Number seven, don't compare yourself to others, just focus on yourself. Other people have started from years going on. You have either started quite recently or any other time like that. So just don't compare you to them because it'll be unmotivating. It will be just in general, not that good for your improvement. So just focus on yourself, focus on your improving. And if you like clip something first off, Having like your progress would be a lot of motivation and also you'll see that your mechanics weren't actually good back then and you can see how much the mechanics actually are to improve, like they're so important to improve. So this one, don't compare yourself to others, just focus on yourself and focus on your progress and journey. Number six is the time you spend training and time you spend in the game. I know a lot of people don't like to spend that much time in training or they don't like to spend much time on their PC but the only way to improve is just having like hours on the game really. That same with pros, that same with any good freestyler, they've been in training non-stop, they've had so many hours on the game. Like you'll see some people with like 150 hours in two weeks on Steam and those people you'll see improve so much in a short amount of time 
because all it is is just hours spent on the game, it's nothing else. And how you spend your hours is important as well. And that's kind of just watching tutorials and learning stuff for yourself. Work on shots you can't do, not what you can do. This is important because it will improve your shots anyway. Let's say you can only do one flip preset at the moment and you're just doing one flip preset and getting consistent at that. What I would do is learn to do two flip presets and by the time you're learning to get the second reset, your first reset will be really consistent as well. So learning to get consistent at the first reset, then getting the double, learning a completely different shot, that would be really useful to me. It's another thing like air dribble, flip reset to air dribbles. When I was learning to air dribble consistently, I was learning to air dribble after it, and that would get my like, rotation after the reset, learning how to control my car after the reset. And that helped me so much with getting consistent to air dribbles. I'll touch on that a bit later on in the video. You need to realise that shots will actually take a long time to learn. It won't take a short amount of time. Like for me, the flip reset to air dribble thing, that took me like weeks to actually get fully. Like what I was doing was a flip reset to air dribble. Even if it was like one touch after the air dribble on the second day, that wouldn't phase me at all. I would grind to get two touches after it next day, then three, then four, then eventually I got it so I air dribbled inside the goal. And that was like, the progress up to that was just really difficult. It was, it took a lot of time. So you need to actually take a lot of time in each shot to actually improve it. It won't take a short amount of time, and that's what you need to accept going into freestyling. It takes a lot of time to get good at. But in general, you need to have fun doing it. Just don't get burnt out doing it. Just have fun. You can do like private matches with people you know and stuff like that, and that would get more fun. Like what I was doing, I was every single day I was doing a private match with someone learning freestyle ever since I was like plat or gold. And that helped me out so much improving whilst having fun at the same time. So make sure you're having fun and not getting burnt out. Otherwise you'll just quit, quit the game in general. That's what a lot of freestylers, a lot of comp players are at the moment. They're completely burnt out. So make sure that's not you. Number two, this is kind of more for like clip hitting. But don't try the shot in casual if you can't do it in training consistently. I used to force myself to be able to hit the shot three times in a row in training before I try it in casual. This is so you don't get burnt out in casual and it will just take forever in casual. Like it will take less time to learn it consistently in training than do it in casual, than trying to get it in casual straight off, if you know what I mean it would take a lot more attempts learning in training than in casual because in casual you might get like three attempts per game but in training you'll get like 50 attempts per I don't know minute not minute you know what I mean though you get a lot more attempts in training so just get consistent before you go into casual you won't get burnt out and you'll hit the shot a lot faster and you'll improve quicker as well like training, you just have a lot more attempts and you improve so much faster. Before I get into number one, make sure to like and sub to the channel as it helps me out a lot. And let's get on to number one now. Number one is a kind of an ego thing and not thinking you're better than what you are and being realistic with what you do and what you will get to. Like for example, if you're just someone who can't really do that well, don't expect you to do things that people in like Nexus and Pulse are doing. Like expect yourself to do things that you'll actually be able to do and grind for shots that you're actually able to do. Not grinding for stuff that you think you can do from watching other players do, if you know what I mean. Like don't have an ego for yourself and just learn shots that you know will be good for you to learn. Not trying to learn shots that will be completely impossible and thinking you're a lot better than you are. 
because realistically you're not and you're like even if me making a video I think my video is better than what it actually is because I made it it's the same with you and your shots you'll think it's better than it actually is and like in a month's time or something you'll look back at it and think I was just awful and this is really bad like that's I think to some of my stuff I've done and it's hard to accept it when you've done it but if you actually know what I mean by saying this you'll understand what I mean and it will be quite useful so don't think everything you do is perfect if other people criticise it take it as advice don't take it as like a uh, I think it's perfect and they're saying it's bad because it probably will actually be bad if you know what I mean but there's not much else to say and thanks for watching this might be one of the last Rocket League videos or second to last I'll probably do a montage for the last one and I'll see you another time and see you.